Nancy Gupte from class CBSC 7. And I am Bharat Mehta from class CLSP 6. We are thrilled to host this episode of Smart 360, more than just news. This bulletin series promises to update you about the happenings in the world and in all the GIS campuses. The idea is to share information, generate curiosity and spread knowledge and also have fun while learning new things. So let's begin. Madhi Kunta of CBSC Grade 10 from the GIS East Coast Campus has achieved an outstanding milestone by winning the Science Olympiad Foundation Academic Excellence Scholarship for 2021-2022. to Shriyans has been participating in the SF Olympiad Awards since he was in Grade 2 and has won many accolades over the years. The scholarship is awarded to 8 students, one per grade from classes 3 to 10, each from 26 zones around the world, which is over 200 students. The main objective of the scholarship is to encourage all-around academic development among students by recognizing their brilliant performances in different subjects in the Olympiad exams. Shriyan's achievement perfectly exemplifies the unwearing support of the educators at GIS backed by its holistic learning curriculum that has nurtured countless talents across campuses. Congratulations to Shriyans! Secondary students of GIS Noida have earned several accolades in the annual business fest held at Symbiosis Center of Management Studies Noida recently. A total of 15 students from the GIS Noida participated in the event and made us proud with their accomplishments, bagging the most prizes than any other school or college participating in the event. The students took part in a variety of events spanning innovative quiz, challenges to marketing and business contests. The achievement by all the students is truly inspiring and showcases how the school encourages its students to grow holistically. We would like to congratulate all the winners. Recently, a group of scientists have developed a blood test kit that can tell in 10 minutes if a person has immunity against COVID-19. The team of scientists from the MIT Alliance for Research and Technology and NTU. The test can detect immunity based on antibiotics detected in blood samples. This is quite different from antigen rapid test kits which find the presence of viral proteins produced in COVID-19 infection. These tests are currently available in the market and can not only detect immunity against the virus, but also shows whether a person has been infected before. It just requires a drop of blood to detect if a person has antibodies against COVID-19 under 10 minutes compared to regular laboratory tests which take approximately 24 to 72 hours. The developers also believe that the same test kit can be adapted to be used for new variants of COVID-19 and to tackle other diseases in the future. This innovation is a great boon for the healthcare industry as they are low cost, fast and its results produced are approximately 93% accurate. Spain has shown to the world that green technology is the new future. It has built a thermal solar tower using carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to produce useful fuels like carbon neutral diesel and jet fuel which can be replaced with electricity or hydrogen in cars. The installation consists of a tower and 169 mirror panels placed on the ground. The panels reflect sunlight and directed into a 16 cm hole to the top of the solar reactor at the top of the tower. In this way, the reactor receives about 50 kilowatts of solar thermal energy. Heat is used to control the redox cycle in which water and carbon dioxide are converted into hydrogen and synthesis gas. By adjusting the amount of water and CO2, the composition of the gas can be controlled. The researchers worked with this setup for 9 days, making 6 to 8 cycles each day and were able to produce about 5,000 liters of synthesis gas. Though the fuel consumption is on a massive scale, the report highlights that synthesis fuel can be mixed with the regular fuel 
to reduce the overall emissions. Although the efficiency of the system as of now is only 4%, the researchers are targeting it to increase it to 20%. The first book we would like to recommend today is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, written by Roald Dahl. The main protagonist in the story is Charlie Bucket, a caring young boy who lives in poverty with his parents and grandparents. Charlie wins a tour to the most magnificent chocolate factory led by the world's most unusual candy maker, Willy Wonka. Charlie, being one of the lucky winners, heads to the factory. While they tour the workshop, they meet many unusual characters, some bad, some good, who find themselves stuck in some very sticky situations. If you haven't read this fun, witty, and exciting book yet, I highly recommend you should. I would like to recommend a famous book by Charles Dickens, David Copperfield. David Copperfield is the story of a young man's journey from an unhappy and impoverished childhood to a successful novelist. This book is a good mix of emotion and has some resemblance of incidences to the writer, Charles Dickens' life. Charles Dickens has created some of the world's best known fictional characters and is regarded as one of the greatest novelists of all time. His novels and short stories have received popularity among readers of all ages. Well, with this, we have come to the end of today's episode. Stay tuned, viewers, for our next episode, where student hosts like us will bring to you interesting news coverage from our campuses and the latest news bites from around the world. We would love to hear from you. So do share your feedback, ideas, or any interesting topic that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at the rate globalindianschool.org. Until the next time, this is Pranit Mehta. And this is Mansi Gupte. Signing off. off.